Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I'm here to give you the karma reading for the month of June year 2024 for the zodiac sign of Libra. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or subscriber, I'm sending you guys so much love, harmony, and happiness to you lovely, awesome Libras. Welcome, welcome back. If you are a cross watcher, I'm sending you prayers, healing, and blessings to you and to all of us here. Always go God's way. Stay close to God, Jesus, your angels, and your entire spiritual teams at all times. Please remember that these karma readings are about healing. It's to see if you guys resonate with it. There's healing and knowing that this story is shared. Not that you wish bad on anybody, but just knowing that other people have survived. They've gone through it. You can make it too. And it's a reminder that these people did not get away with harming and betraying you. Pray for your enemies. Pray for yourselves. Keep yourselves protected. Lots of karmics are watching tarot now because... The storms are hitting, the towers are falling, everything that you guys told them and you warned them about, you asked them to stop, they didn't change, you told them they're going to have to reap what they have sown, and they are definitely reaping what they have sown, and they're reaping what they've sown. Get out of God's get out of God's way, and um, let God work, um, but you can pray for their healing, we hope that they do go God's way, and get it right with you, and change, and it, it's going to take work, and that's what it's going to take for them to get out of the mess that they are in, until then, they are reaping heavy karma stay prayed up the overall energy is their life will change drastically for the worst for what they did to you everything's falling these people were very misguided they mistreated you and nothing is going to go their way the help is not there anymore you help this person you love this person you encourage them you guys had to pull back your energy or you guys were guided by god and your spiritual teams to do so this is so that you can be removed out the way when these people fall because their karma is going to be severe. It's already started and there's nothing they can do to stop it other than get it right with God and um, get it right with you and the people that they wrong. So these people are hurting. They're breaking down. A lot of them are sick. They're mentally unwell, um, physically unwell. God will take these people money, their prized possessions, whether it's cars, whether it's different men and women they chose over you. Whatever they went towards, their overindulgences, the ways they lied and cheated on you, all that energy is festering into like a storm of bad karma. I keep hearing storm. This person may be facing a lot of storms or they're going to be affected by physical and spiritual ones. They're in trouble with God and their life is changing drastically. They don't have the help, the love, the encouragement, the support. Everything that you gave is now gone. Someone told them not to mess with you. Yeah, I'm hearing it misguided and I've seen that in my pre-shuffle the misguided card, they were dealing with low vibrational people. So those people want them to stay stuck and go, you know, to jail, go get on drugs, go to addictions, stay stuck where they are and never grow and evolve. The problem is you guys are emperors and empresses. You're always learning, growing, changing, going after dreams and goals in pursuit of more happiness and prosperity, getting closer with God. That's, that's important to you. The real things that's important, leaving a legacy for your kids and inheritance being proud of yourselves, that matter to you. Taking care of your body, taking care of your temple and um, building a good home and a good life. They listen to people who have no substance, people who have no self-respect, people who lack God and self-love. And now they're stuck with these people and these people are taken from each other, lying on each other. These people are all self-destructing. Those who betrayed you, they had to find time. I'm sorry, you guys had to find time for yourself. While they were selfish and... They were all about themselves. What they did was create more space and time for you to see who they really are and see what you really want out of life. And you guys learned that there's a misalignment here. You guys don't want the same things, even though they tried to convince you that you guys are the same and that you want the same, but you don't. Somebody was a serial cheater. They definitely are in heavy regret. They regret all their affairs. Affairs is there, which means they had many. They were with any and everything in these streets and they picked up a lot of demonic attachments along the way. I'm feeling like I'm in a deja vu right now. I kid you not. Um, some of you guys may feel that way as well. But they're regretting affairs. Um, I feel like they're being forced to see. Like when they try to sleep and stuff. It's like they're trying to see. They, they're being forced to see. Um, they, I'm hearing they want to see something different but it, they're not seeing it. It's like a broken record. It, they're dealing with like that Groundhog Day effect. There was a Groundhog Day movie back in the day but um i think bill murray was in it but i'm not sure but they regret all these affairs and spirits making them see these people and they're seeing you and they're seeing what they did to you what they chose over you they chose trash they chose rats in the gutter over you people who are just nasty trifling this person or these group of people 
this group was very biased. These people were very, very much one-sided. It was their way or the highway. They were never there to compromise with you. They do just enough to make you believe that they're trying. They make you believe through a little bit of breadcrumbing and they show up a little bit here and there, just you know enough, enough to poke their head out to say, I, I showed up, I was here. Um, I did this, I did that. It's all for praise for them, which praise belongs to God. It's nice to be recognized for a job well done and we all deserve, you know, accolades and scholarships and certificates and the best parking space or employee of the month. You know, it's important to be recognized for a job well done, but it's different when it's praise for things that they did not do. They're taking your credit is what they were doing. They can't do it. That's why you guys have to be separated. You guys have to walk away. They're very biased. They wanted your credit is what I'm hearing that they don't deserve. So now that people are seeing your character and theirs, the consistency is they've downgraded and you guys have upgraded. You guys are opposites and they were just living vicariously through you, living from your light and your energy. And they don't deserve that. They don't deserve you. You're too good for that. They used to hear to respond, but not to listen to understand. So they were always acting like they were actively listening, listening or that, oh yeah, I'm gonna do better. Too many apolog you know, apologies, but not enough positive change in the right direction you know this person was a true um, prankster and a fake a fraud and um all these people that they chose over you they were always cheating everywhere they go it's like this person they be they may be a sex addict is what i'm hearing they don't like taking positive direction they don't like positive um guidance they gravitate towards the dark and the negative and see this is why i'm hearing these people are miserable they're sad they made too many mistakes. You know, that last one was the last one because whatever they did last, even if it was something like minor or minuscule, whatever it was, for some of you guys, it was huge. But whatever it was, it made you see them for who they truly are inside and out. They thought they were getting away with so much, but they weren't. They were accumulating bad karma. And now the towers, they're falling on these people and everything's crumbling, everything's backfiring. It's going back to these people. So put Psalms 91 on your enemies. They made too many mistakes and now you can see it. Now you can rack it up and accumulate these mistakes and really, you can see it. They've accumulated too much bad karma from these mistakes. And it's not mistakes when it becomes patterns. They chose to be evil and a lot of them are in jail or they will be going. They will meet a bell's bondsman. You know, I'm hearing whoever they chose over you, they may have had kids with these people. So the child's mother, child's father, they may be putting them in jail. These people are toxic, fighting, abuse is here abusing drugs, not listening to their parole officer, um, not paying their bail bondsmen, so some of them have to double their bail. They're in trouble. They're connected to jail somehow, and they will need a bail bondsman, or they may have already been paying one, or will be. Don't pay these people's bail. Don't take their calls whenever they call you. Of course, you guys have discernment. Do what you guys feel is best. These people have to hit rock bottom for them to see the light and the way up. Spirit put a light on these people so that you could see who they really are. It's like you're the flashlight. You were the light in their life. You're the flashlight in their darkness. And that's why they wanted to stay attached to you. You helped them to see their way through, but they were just repeating toxic cycles. They were living for their addictions. That's all they're living for. And this is why they're in trouble. So they're going to be connected to court somehow and bail. They're very unhappy because they're being forced to reap what they have sown. So they're facing some big consequences now and it's getting harsh. It's getting heavy and, um, you know, narcissists, they don't like to hear no. They don't like when they're in a trap and they can't get out, but they put themselves in the trap. They put themselves in the danger zone. They put themselves at risk. They kept mistreating you and others. So some of you guys may have to put them in jail, do what's best and hold your head up high and don't feel bad for what you have to do. Protect you and your kids at all times, at all costs. Do what's safe. Follow the laws to the best of your ability, but keep yourself safe, number one. And, you know, of course, you know, always first and foremost, even before that, stay close to God and spirit at all times. Some of these people were spoiled as a child. You feel like these people are like spoiled milk. Um, they spoil till they rotted and they never course corrected. Some of these people, they never wanted a girlfriend or boyfriend. You were like a scapegoat or a husband or wife. They only took you because you were good to them. You were better to them than anybody has ever been or probably will ever be. And they took your kindness for granted. And God is not pleased with them for that. They spoiled and they rotted. And some of you guys may have spoiled them too because you were just good to them. This is just you having a genuine good heart. You guys are authentic. They're fakes. And for those who was not spoiled as a child, 
you were so good to them, they didn't take your love in consideration. Like they didn't consider like, oh, you know what? I'll be good to, to Libra too. And I'll do, I'll step up. Instead, they step down and they let you do their responsibilities, take on their burdens and they place all their issues on you. They were projecting. These people spoil. They rot it. And it's their choice. They were supposed to elevate and give you that love back and forth. And you guys could have built a beautiful life together, which is what you wanted. A lot of you guys outgrew them and you're building beautiful lives, businesses, legacy. You know, you guys are just getting ahead without them and they see it. And so people see like, well, you said this person, you said Libra was the problem. So people are looking at them like, well, Libra's doing A through Z. You're still on A and going down. They are in a downward spiral from here. So they also may have, um, this person, sometimes people come in your life as narcissists. They love the love bomb in the beginning, or they try to act like they got it in the beginning. So they may put their best foot forward, spend a little bit more in the beginning, act like they're very involved and you know, invested, you know, they pretend they put on a good show because it has to be believable or you would never even rock with them in the first place. But they always wanted to be spoiled. These, these people have that Peter Pan syndrome. They, whether it's a man, a man or a woman, they never wanted to grow up. They wanted to always be taken care of. They never wanted to grow and heal and step into true manhood, true womanhood. And that's really sad that they chose not to be an adult. So a lot of pe people are dealing with narcissists who are like 30s, 40s, 50s and up. But these people really have a seven-year-old, 14-year-old minds. You know, they're back in childhood. They're stuck in the past. They didn't heal things from their childhood. And that's their fault. They, you know, at a certain point, everybody is responsible for their own healing. Kids are not, but adults are. And these people had many, many time, you know, many times to change. Too much time. And they wasted it. They chose to be a trickster, a phony, a fraud. They chose to play games. They may have saw, I'm hearing they felt like another sibling of theirs was maybe the spoiled one and they wanted it to be their turn. So they wanted somebody to take care of them for life or something like that. They could have had like sibling rivalry or like jealousy, something like that. Some kind of jealousy in the family. But we're all here to heal. Every person on this planet has to sacrifice for God, myself included. Every person on this planet have to make changes. We're here to grow and evolve, to be closer with God, to walk in our purpose, to bathe in divinity, to do righteousness, and to lead other people to God and to be helpers, okay, to be in our purpose. You guys chose your purpose and you will be highly blessed for it. And you guys should be seeing goodness, good news, blessings, and good things coming your way. These people chose to be liars, predators, and tricksters. We are in a time of reaping. This is reaping season and God is not playing. He's exposing these people for who they are and they're getting karma quick, fast, in a hurry. Keep the Bible scriptures on these people. Keep you guys protected. Light your candles. Do your spiritual baths. Go to your altar. Go to church. Pray for yourselves. Pray for your enemies. Just know this. Forgiving them does not exclude them from their, their healing. It doesn't exclude them from their, um, from their karma. So they're trying to run away and get out of it, but they cannot. And this is why if you guys watch the news, more and more people are being um, exposed as the frauds that they are. Acting like they're this loving person, but they're not. So these people are going down. They're going to lose everything. They're going to fall. Many of them are going to jail. Some are already there in spiritual jail. They're facing many, many, many problems. And it's only going to get worse. They did it to themselves by letting it stack up and not actually working on themselves. You guys did the right thing by turning to God, turning within, and healing, growing, and giving yourself self-love and self-care. They were supposed to join with you and follow your lead instead they never did. They stayed stuck in the past. A lot of these people stayed stuck in their trauma. And some of them may have been traumatized, but you guys have been through things too. Maybe even more than them. And they added to your trauma. Some of you guys trauma bonded is what I'm hearing. But I'm hearing no more. You guys want a better life for you and your kids and you will have it. Stay focused on God's love. Stay focused on blessings. God loves you. He's with you. Good things will come to you guys. Abundance will come to you. Peace will come to you. Keep giving yourself the life and the love that you want and stay close to God. And stay prayed up. You guys will win. You will persevere. You're here to be triumphant and good things await you. Step into your divinity higher and higher. You guys are going in opposite directions. You guys have better things ahead. These people, they are in a downward, downward spiral fall. So we pray and hope that they get it right with God. And they have to get it right with you. They owe you a lot. And it's more than an apology. You don't want to hear at this point. They need to pay what they owe. They need to be with good to the kids. They need to clear your name. They need to do what's right. 
they need to truly get it right from the heart space, from the soul space, and not pretend. Whether they do or don't, you guys keep going God's way. You guys have a beautiful life ahead, and you will leave an awesome legacy. Spirit, I feel is very proud of you guys, so keep going, Libras. You guys got this. Stay blessed. Okay, Libras, this has been your karma reading for the month of June year 2024. I hope the messages in this reading resonate with all of you or as many of you as humanly possible. I'm sending you guys so much love and light and healing and, of course, abundance. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you. Bye, Libra.